What is happening, y'all? Kawa here, and welcome back to another Inkbound Deep Dive, and today we're doing some guided gameplay with the Clairvoyant. Now, Clairvoyant is another uh, mage archetype, kind of similar to the Weaver. It's not your typical mage, but it definitely flows uh, and kind of has mage vibes. But it's a class that I think is kind of initially sold as almost like a support class, uh, which it does do very well at support with its Auras, but it is a fully fleshed out class in its own right uh, can do plenty of, of damage it's actually one of the better classes i think uh, for the runestone encounter but either way let's jump in and show you what it can do so we will do uh we have physical magic and then magic with this class um honestly powder monkey stockpile isn't too bad here because you're, you're usually gonna use these abilities and then just use telekinesis to finish stuff off uh, so it, it actually works fairly well. So we'll go ahead. Oh, I don't know though. It's not not the best. Um, on your turn, inflict dazed on the nearest enemy. We get some spiked. We're using a physical binding, one shield twice per turn. Hmm. None of these are really standing out as something I absolutely want. There we go. Ten percent more quillings. Let's do that. Can't go wrong with free quillings, right? Uh, and then as for this, let's go with Surging Spirit Bomb initially, and we'll jump right in. So the basis around this class is that you are s separately manipulating your orb, which is how you do your damage and how you attack, and your character. So it's definitely a, a very unique class to play, one that I think takes a little more practice than others, because you're not just, you know, running up and doing damage. You need to, to separately move your orb and yourself. So... Besides that, we have uh, Psionic Charges. When you get up to three, your Spirit Bomb does a ton of damage. And on top of the Orb, you can see an Aura right now. So one of the big things is that's considered your Hazard Aura. At the end of your turn, 25 magic damage to all enemies that are in the Aura. And there are a bunch of different Auras we can get. But so, for example, I'm going to move here. Shoot it right there. Let's see who's in the Hazard Aura. I'm going to go ahead and do a Psychic Pulse. It's going to hit that. And I can see I can do a Spirit Bomb right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though it's not fully charged, because it is going to get me the heal. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to bring this back to me. You don't have to bring it back to me. I'm really just getting that position there uh, to put it kind of where I want it to be. Uh, let's do crit chance, I guess. Uh, let's do... Hmm, I already picked up... Do, 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 plus 30. Oh, plus 50. Um, empowering Pulse isn't bad. I mean, it's going to be a 10% amplification, but usually you're not on it, so we'll take Amplified Telekinesis here. And let's see what we're getting. Shield Ball, Chain Lightning, or Incendiary. Oh my, oh my. Um, you know, I haven't really taken Chain Lightning all the way up. Let's, let's do that. Let's play with Chain Lightning, see what we can really ramp up to. Pick up the Quilling Cage. Okay, so, something like this, we are going to go in, go in. And keep in mind, see, the thing is, you can very rapidly be like, ability, 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 ability. And if you're not paying attention and being careful about your movement, it's very easy to find yourself, like, you know, just end in a situation where you haven't moved at all and you're going to get hit. Actually, you know what? Move back in here. Oh, do I really want to pop that 20 shield and 10 spike? No, I'll, I'll wait right here. So, enter. So in this case, I wanted to build up my charge, so we're going to move in now. And now I'm at full charge, and now my Spirit Bomb should do some massive damage, and you can see, clearing them, almost killing this guy. Very, very, very potent ability. So we're going to move you. Fortunately, he's not going to get a charge right here, so move back onto him. He's in the Hazard Aura, and he's going to hit me anyway, so we'll Vengeful Infusion. I have a feeling a second one of these is going to come out, so pop that. That's going to take him out. Go here. Oh, you were the last one. Big old waste of that potion, but that's okay. 
Okay, crit chance and crit damage. A uh, shielding R is not bad. Just on the start of the turn, anybody that's in that R gains some shield. There's a bunch of different R's you can go for. I think my favorite would be there's some healing based R's where if enemies are inside of it, they receive a heal from it and stuff like that. That's quite good. Right, let's go over here, get a rare augment and see. Uh, so, oh man. Um, man, some of these are, are really nice. Um, so, Hexing Aura can be really good, because keep in mind, Hex is going to cause enemies to just take more damage. So basically, as long as it's in the Aura, my Pulse, as well as my Spirit Bomb, are going to do more damage. Uh, Grievous Pulse is also pretty disgusting. Uh, now, that the way this is going to do is it's going to give us damage Aura, and basically, after the Pulse, we're going to have just like an extra Aura of damage that actually moves with the orb. So while I am a big fan of Hexing Aura, we're going to go for Grievous Pulse just because that's really, really devastating. I find it helps to, to clean up enemies a lot, get kind of uh, pop shots on them, if you will. Shielding Pulse, also not bad. Let's get plus 10 for each additional enemy reach. Nope, extended telekinesis. Gotta take the range when you can get it. We don't need glyphs, so we're going for a superior vault. We got potion. So you can kind of see we're going to pop that and what's crazy is now you can see how i have this this reticle <clears throat> even if i were to like you know i don't know i'll just i'll wait till i have something that you can actually see get hit by it right here there we go see this this is the the one that i was waiting on we're gonna hit you we're gonna go here, we're gonna do that, we're gonna grab this. Not gonna actually use that right now, because look, if I use that, I'm only hitting him, I'm not hitting him, and you're the one that I actually need damage. But this is a, a good demonstration, so how, how I have that separate aura up now. Uh, aura is a stronger clairvoyant binding wax. So if I move here, you can see how, even though my pathway isn't hitting this enemy, I just have an aura, and this is what's so strong about damage aura, is anything that this passes over will now take damage. It's a very, very strong effect. So in this case, we are, let's see what I want to do here. If I'm going to be able to get far enough away, the explosion, this, I'm just going to put him right there, and yeah, we're just going to have to move over. That's okay. This we can detonate this here. We're gonna shift it and kill pretty much everything that's nearby. reduce the cooldown of your highest cooldown by one twice per turn i have been picking up some crit i'm up to 14 this will put me up to 20 or on critting gain a small amount of quillings five times per combat let's let's do this because we also have quilling catcher and those are just going to ramp up together with more crit chance jesus okay um quicken spirit bomb can be really nice but i'd rather get a cost reduction on it um let's do empowered lightning i guess Okay, um, I already got lightning. What do I want? I usually go for one damage, one buff. Um, I could go shield wall here, take the defensive option, because my damage will probably be handled. Yeah, let's do that. 
Having a defensive option doesn't hurt. Uh, so I gotta fully augment. Let's go. Actually, we're really early. We will take Sea Breach. I just noticed how early we were into the story still. Yep. There's a rarity of future rewards, Karma. And we got a whole, uh, whole zone after us. That's great. top? No, we're not. Uh, can I get the Rhinifero as well? I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shield wall up. Take some damage from that spiked. Pop that, get all of our cooldowns back. Just move out, and I'll get a stack of that. Even though he's immune to damage, keep in mind that I can still sat, stack my psionic charge. So that's why it's worth getting that extra hit in there. there we go. Move out of the way. Is there only one here? Let me... Here. out of the way of that or well shit, how much damage do I have coming in three let's do it a shield up it's gonna mitigate out the hit and he's gonna take the spike damage not that it's gonna matter because we're about to kill him here there's a detonate in the background don't even need to look okay there we go discounted spirit bomb so this is really nice but heal aura which I mentioned this one can be quite powerful just every single turn if you're in the aura you get health back so Obviously, very, very strong potential there, just getting constant health back every turn. Um, I'm greedy, so I'm probably going to go for discounted Spirit Bomb here. Uh, but Heal Aura should not be underestimated. And here we go, a Chain Lightning Evolution. This is I haven't gotten all the evolutions on, on uh, stuff like this yet. So, uh, 50 damage to a single enemy. Damage spreads to nearby enemy. Deal 50 plus damage to each additional enemy it reaches. Or we just deal 100 damage and one stack of shock to all enemies. Ooh. 50 damage to a single enemy and spread. So we're probably going to hit like 50, 100, 150, 200 on an ideal scenario. Which is an outright 100 magic damage coming down and shock to all. That could also be quite nice. Um... That's, oh man, I'm so torn on this. These are both really nice. Let's do Lightning Storm, because I'm anything that's in a group, I'm pretty much going to be pulsing and spirit bombing it down. So this will give me large range AoE, which is useful. Heal on up, go here. Oh, nine more crit chance, bro, for real? What? What are we up to now? A 31% passive crit, Jesus. This isn't going to end well. These are going to start critting. Lightning storm. Boom, 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 boom. Um, looking good on Quillings. Let's get that. Quickly Puffer. Okay, so we can go here and move over and hit the pulse. Hit the pulse the second time you have on you. 50 max. Okay, and snare. So this is worth pointing out, and snare is always worth being aware of. You know, a lot of characters, it sucks. Unclear Voyant in particular, you'd think, like, I don't need to worry about moving, but it's very, very easy to be like, ability, 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 and not pay attention to get hit by a snare. And then you're like, oh crap, I can't move. And you're just praying that your orb is going to be enough to get the job done. So I know this sounds obvious, but just be very careful around uh, ensnare mechanics with clairvoyant. It's very easy for you to 
have a, an accidental whoopsie, and then all of a sudden everything goes to shit very quickly. So now that it has some friends on the board, we are going to disintegration oil, and everybody gets hit with lightning. I like that. That's quite nice. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, we're going to just bump that there. Oh no! I'm out of the range. And see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Is, you know, manual either way. I was hoping to, to be far enough to grab that and then power orb. But let me uh, put the power orb there. Um, we're going to do this. Not enough. We're going to pop you. They're all spread. I could really use my lightning right about now. Me. Actually, you know what? No, we'll just move out of the AoE. And have to take the hits. Very unfortunate. Let me put a little bit on me. Uh, mitigation there. Okay. Um. That's good. We're full. Might be able to hit everything with just a very, very slight nudge, like this way. Almost everything. Let's hit one all with lightning. Oh man. See, that's that's actually exactly what I was talking about. I just moved that before paying attention to my own movement. Now I'm going to get caught and I'm going to get slapped for massive damage there from that ensnare. And this is exactly why you need to be so careful when playing clairvoyant. It's very easy to just kind of get caught and then without even realizing it, your health is, is gone so fast. Because you don't have a lot of the other forms of mitigation that a lot of other classes have. You know, you don't have... Uh, the passive evasion coming in. We don't have the ability to, to move enemies around. Uh, losing all shield damage. Smite enemies. That'll work out quite well with shield wall. We'll get some health back here. Uh, plus 10 for each edition. I mean, I don't know if that really matters. Um, stockpile wall can be really strong here. You know, basic idea is I know a big hit's coming in. I'm going to go ahead and pop that. Um, charging Spirit Bomb can also be really nice because the fact is I can, you know, Psychic Pulse, Orb, Psychic Pulse, and then this is going to give me the third. So I like Stockpile Wall, but I'm going to pick up Charging Spirit Bomb. That's just going to give me the capability to get uh, three charge in one turn. Even though I probably should have saved it and gotten some damage and whatnot on that, I think it'll still work out okay. Plus, it gives us one of our fully augments, which we want to work our way towards those. Um, more crit chance, more crit damage. Let's do that. Because um, with that, so you're now at 4, 8, that's 12. On top of 31. So, yeah, that's that's pretty damn high up there. Ah, uh, fully augment one more. Oh, charging telekinesis. I could have grabbed that. Um, I'm going to turn game one psionic charge. Well, screw it. Though, if I do that, I'm gonna hit the. Yeah, let's get it. I wanted stockpile wall, but I'd rather claim this reward sooner rather than later. Uh, Baylor tongue, the shield gain shield fifty percent. No, in your first turn, we're gonna go Byron's book, and then heroic fall. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So we'll move here, hit that. We're gonna lightning everybody, and then do that, and then do that, and then you're gonna cannon me. Um, for how much? You're gonna cannon for six. You're gonna gain four shield. I don't like that. Let's um. Not gonna be able to get out of the way. Let's move here. Well, if I'm moving, let's go all the way over here. I'd rather have a better 
uh, visual on the battlefield. So we're gonna come over here, grab, detonate, do that. I fucked up that order. I should have, even though I was at full, I should have pulsed, detonated, pulsed. I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think I have enough damage to kill that guy now. Let me see. A little bit late to pop that, but. Actually, the hazard are a might. Five. No. If I had hit him one more time, hazard R would have finished him, but it's okay. At this point, it's more about me making sure I don't die here, which this is looking pretty sketchy. So we got instantly got what we needed there. Um, we need to. You have one of those those aura that protects you type deals. No, what's going on here? Amazing. Causes no dodge the first attack made against him afterwards. What the fuck, dude? It's phasing is blocking. That's so weird. I've never seen that. It's phasing was blocking the damage aura from hurting it. Even though it was taking an attack, it wasn't triggering. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just something with phasing that I was unaware of. Uh, we're gonna move out. We're gonna grab that there. We're gonna do that. Grab that. We're gonna pop this over here. Let me get my health back up. Uh, inability power until binding is used. Um, dodging, gain 10 ability power. Upon gaining shield, gain 2 ability power until end of turn. None of these really stand out as good to me. Hitting enemies for the first time each turn with like 3 stacks of burn. Mm -hmm. Also, not a giant fan. Being an enemy with... Your damage more than double in a large amount of quillings. Now, I always love quillings. Uh, let's go for the health restoration here on the rare augment. I'm gonna go ahead and get HP restoration on the wall. Really gotta get my health up here. I've been uh, kind of slacking in that regard. Oh, uh, let's see. We have very fast charge going on, so let's go astrokinesis because it's gonna be very easy for us to hit that 108 constantly. Um, Psychokinesis can be really good. It is just you pass through, you're getting charges, but we have charging coming up so fast, it doesn't really make sense. In fact, it almost would have been worth uh, just re-rolling that and getting it a different different thing altogether, but it's whatever. So we got plenty of quillings on hand. Let's go by the Carver's Refuge here, and we're going to heal. We're gonna swing by the shop. On your turn, spawn an orb. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, so I get less will reserve with that, but I am going to spawn an orb, and the great thing about that is orb means more cooldown, so go there. They have the same effective uh, casting potential, but it'll just work out more in my favor. So we're going to go here, 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 here. Um, how much are you hitting for? Six. I'd rather just get out of the way of that. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna blow all of you up. So, right here, you can see the difference between it hitting an enemy versus the damage aura. You can see how one is losing half its health while the other is dying out, right? Got 
God, that's so freaking strong, dude. Discount Lightning Storm again. The potency of it is outrageous. Oh, if you have full HP in your first turn, your bindings have no cooldown for the first five uses. Does not stack. Man. Love that thing. Uh, I really want the health. Six more crit chance sounds really good. We're gonna. The health is the smart move. We'll take the health. Uh, three stacks of spiked. Spiked is quite nice, even though I've been using it as more of a defensive option. Can't really go wrong with spiked. Uh, what do you got? Oh, bottle whirlwind also would have been nice. Don't really need to heal, so let's head on out. So this can be really busted. Just because you'll have, uh, you know, on your first turn, you get to do stuff like this. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Wonderful first turn, doing half of Lusk's life. It's incredibly busted. Damage gain sapping aura, which one psionic charge per enemy in the area. I'm not gonna need that. Um, deal 30 damage in a small area around your shard globe and plus 30 for each aura you have. So that would be what 60 hexing. I have hexing, I have damage, so it's 120. It's double. Let's reroll. Ah, here we go. Super Spirit Bomb. 300 damage in a huge area. Full charge deals 780 damage and consume all charges. Love that. Um, Spirit Cannon's not bad. It's just, it's not really my thing. So you move it around, same as like Astrokinesis. You're going to deal just big damage to enemies in your path. But to be honest, I'd rather have the like AoE potential. Uh, so very much a, a preference type thing, but you know. Okay, one side of charge, Jesus. Uh, we're gonna go fortifying wall, I guess. I don't I don't need more psionic charge. The game's like, bro, I heard you wanted some charge with your charge. I'm like, no, we're we're good. We're good. We don't need that. It's crazy. And that's why I wanted to like rush to to complete the quest and, and get other stuff. I mean, god, we're getting the extra buffs from that. We're getting the uh, acknowledgement now. Like we're just really starting to get Outrageously strong, very, very fast. Are you one of those? Do you have a box? Oh, you do have phasing, okay. Well, I completely forgot about my uh, my perk. Oh, sad. I was so busy talking, I forgot about my acknowledgement of exemption. Boom. No! Oh man, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. Look at this hit we're about to take. <laughs> oh my god. Completely negligible damage if I had just paid attention to what I was doing. Man, that's, 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 that hurts. That hurts a lot. I'm probably not going to need that health regardless, but it still, it still hurts to see it happen. Like, oops, you made a dumb mistake. Putting game one stack of stealth. That could be really nice for me. 
Um, we're gonna drop you since we're at the very end anyway. We're gonna get our health back up. 40 damage on the pulse. Thankfully, we've had so much shit feeding us quillings, so we're gonna be able to go to the carver and get whatever we need. Uh, one ability power until end of combat is nice, and critting gain one shield could be nice. Baylor's Tongue could be really good for me. I have a lot of crit going on, so let's grab that, and we'll pick up the smite, and then we're gonna restore. And so we are at a 31 base crit chance. Uh, that's not including, like, extra sources of crit, like, per move. fantastic boss uh, battle because we're able to just position ourselves exactly where we want to be. Let's go. We're right back here. Um, so we want to go this way. Um... Oh, hang on, hang on. Before I do anything, let me, let me pop my lightning. Grab. God, I gotta get around your chunky ass. I'm gonna get him in the next turn. Let's do this to mitigate out that. Don't get hit. It's one hand hitting that. get right over here there we go now the hand is hitting right where we want it I got stealth off that crit um, let's go boom, boom. and we're just gonna look to bring our guy down here and not stand on any AOEs real fast right now I mean runestone is is um, I think he's one of the most confusing, but also one of the easiest bosses. Once you really get how he works, it's just all about, uh, you know, just mitigating, like, killing those adds and positioning yourself so that the hands are going to slap him in the head. So, like, this hand, you can see that, that reticle, so that's going to come and, and hit. So I'm going to come over to here, where I am, right here. And then I'm gonna like click this, and then oh, I'm out. Well, that might have actually moved it. We'll see. Let's see. Is it coming over? No, I don't think the R did enough. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, we're good. This is gonna come in and hit. That's aiming into hit. Looking good here. And I can always just lightning from back here to ensure. And that's a GG. Just, man. I'll tell you what, I'm never gonna be discounting Lightning Storm again. That was, whew, man. Just global massive damage there with the crits. Obviously, Astrokinesis tearing stuff apart. Super Spirit Bomb. I didn't even really have to use Super Spirit Bomb there. Uh, but that's it's such a positional boss fight. But that's also what makes Clairvoyant so strong in that boss fight. Is I can just be where I need to be behind the dude. And move my globe around to hit whatever I need to hit to move those hands. Uh, but either way, that is going to wrap things up now. We, of course, have three more showcases coming your way. We're going to be taking a look at all the classes, doing you know a little bit more in-depth coverage, talking about various, uh, various abilities of the aspects and whatnot. But stay tuned, and we will catch you a little bit later with some more.